Well, as we inch closer to the December 7, 2024 polls, all the political parties and candidates are busy crisscrossing the country to sell their messages to the people of Ghana. This year's election has been touted as one that will be keenly contested because of the stakes at play. Let's take a start from the Upper East region where some electorates say jobs, dams, good roads and health infrastructure are among what will determine their choice uh, that they make in December. In an interview with John News, they said these are basic necessities of life that successive governments have often neglected. Maxwell Abdaba is on tour with the NDC flag bearer John Mahama and joins us live from there. Max, where are you currently and what's happening? Well, we are currently um, in the Busa South constituency. The NDC flag bearer John Mahama just finished um, interacting with chiefs, opinion leaders, and residents of Fumbisi. Um, they just finished that interaction um, at the Church of Pentecost um, Central Assembly. Um, just about now, um, the Member of Parliament for Bursa South constituency, Clement Park, just finished addressing um, the crowd. He's about to introduce um, the NDC flag bearer, John Mahama, who will be speaking um, shortly. We'll be hearing from him that I have some first-time voters um, here um, at the rally ground. We want to hear from them what will inform their choice in this year's um, elections, in this December um, elections. Let's speak to them quickly before we hear from John. Hi, what's your name? My name is Mavis Lamis Sarifu. Okay. Uh, tell me, what will inform your choice in the December elections? You just turned 18, you're telling me. We want him to help us in this our election that we have to vote. We want him to help us. This is, the economy is hard for us, so we need his help. We want him to help us. We are suffering in this economy, so if you support us, we will thank him so much. What about the free senior high school? Um, he has been talking about empowering your headmasters um, to get food for you. As it stands right now, there's the National Food Buffer Stock that gets the food and then is given to him at school. John Mahama is saying that if he's elected, he would empower your headmasters to get the food for you. What do you make of that? Um, we are happy for that because we are suffering a lot in the school. Because the food stuff that they are giving to us in the school is no good. We are suffering a lot, but if he is ready to help us, we'll be happy for it. If you are suffering, what exactly do you mean? Through the food side. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, like, let me say, two weeks now, we have been eating only rice, rice, rice. Some, the food that they are even giving to us, no, uh, we are not happy with it. But because we don't have it, because we don't have enough, no, we are managing with it like that. So for you, that's what will inform your choice in the December. Yeah, um, we want him to help us. We are suffering a lot. Hi, what's your name? Please, my name is Faith Ayambile. Okay. You also just turned 18? Yes. And you'll be voting this year? Yes. What would inform your choice in this year's election? Mm, I will vote for him as well. Okay. Why him? Because when he was in power, we can see the things he did. Yes. So... I would think I will vote for him. Okay. Okay. Thank you for talking to us. Um, you just had some students from um, Fumbisi Senior High School. They just turned um, 18 first time voters and they will be voting um, this year. But right about now, the NDC flag bearer John Mahama is speaking. So we want to turn attention uh, to him right now and give you a good view um, of John Mahama on the stage um, right now interacting with the hundreds of people who have gathered here, who have gathered here um, to listen um, to him. Earlier he was in the Yagaba Kubori constituency where the Yagaba Kubori constituency in the Northeast region where he interacted with some electorates. Um, we've been engaging some of the electorates. Key amongst the issues that came up were issues of employment, um, dams, uh, good roads, um, health infrastructure. But the issue of job came up strongly um, in both the Bilsa South constituency where we've been interacting with the electorates and then the Yagabakubori constituency. He's not done. He'll be visiting four more other places before he wraps up his tour of the Upper East 
um, region. You get the political power and you get the money to go and buy your mother. I'm by Alaya Nam. I'm Baba Mabadak. Alibadak Dilla. When I'm Pom Masi, I'm Baba Mabada. Akbayan Namu. Anya Lira. Apayan Namu. Banyama. Alleged Fenem Papa Mawada. Atresi Lini. Ataka Tresi Namu. Agapai. Ampia Jigsa. At Mokaru. Fembinesia. And so when NDC is in office, we do things that will benefit you, benefit your children and your grandchildren. And that is why when NDC is in office, we invest in electrification. We send electricity to communities. We invest in education. We remove schools under trees. We build secondary schools. We invest in hospitals, in healthcare. We invest in roads, we invest in water, so that people can get good uh, drinking water to drink. And that benefits not only you, it benefits your generations to yet to come and yet unborn. Anwa, ta NDC, teranta nam, aja namu po, tinya apol ka tinan tinya di, atukuma manrubika mena, data, ale tu poba, ale tu dorden yini, Dila Bolusa, the NDC, and on Sonam, Tajari Sina, Abbas Bolma Pana Kunga Mena, Ase Scuba, Anya Tilentin Yadi, At Rubika Mena, Anya Fasia, Onya Boka, Azun Chonga. But what do the other people do? What do the other people do? They make you sweet promises that they don't intend to fulfill. One village, one dam. One district, one factory. One million dollars per constituency per year. We'll do this, we'll do that. We'll give you f uh, phones and you pay one one CD a month. We'll do, uh, I mean, just promises. Ang Yakudema Banyan Tap and Pass Maja Baran Jamba Jampulini Nambaj Badeseba Amba Baranye. Bayem balete balete kodi amena mori ang kozitu ensi mena bate felka linga one million dollars ang ten mena district mena balise factory ang dangade bangwe yekuma ang balete ni phones ba ati na tuni a one city a two city amakula mena ba poyna po ba sebukuma ang kaventa and so elections have consequences. If you make a wrong choice, you have to live with it for four years. What our young people want today is not phones and pay one city, one city. Our young people want jobs because if they get jobs, they can buy their own phones. And where it's not to get on Benilla, be a tonka mena, and yan takuliba, be a tonka me, for a canton marcia, felenya, kunanam. Dila Bulusa at the Taran Jam. The Yanto Nalini Tanya Yaka Tilanti Yadi to Kumawa Mena Tilanti Yadila Ale Tinya Kukari Tetebat Bimba and Paloko Anya Trima Trim Mansa Atom Dabin Yang Fitaba Fone Tebatuna one city a two city Teba Trima at the Batum Baranya Trim Mansa Atom Badele Yalira at the Badada Bafonba. And so, even though NDC is known as the nation builder, because of our track record in infrastructure, we are not only going to do infrastructure. When we come, we'll continue the things that you, you need. I know that the road from, from BC to Kanjaga to Koninga has to be done. I know the road from Kumbisi to URC has to be done. I know the road from Sandema through from BC to VAC to WA has to be done. We know all those things should be done. I know that <laughs> I know that you need a tertiary educational institution here because the whole of this area there's no tertiary educational institution. I know you need that.
ang wasabu kuma tuwaga rubunga mena wasabu kuma wabusabu kuma a NDC anyenda njambo parumpo ta gomska tenka atika yiri gomsi yirika ta kwa suina ase skuba ase asibitiba other light atikwa jo na kungapo ama da kula nyini wasabu kuma Avra nya takla global ku yani kada mena tuta second school bakma ama tika school ku yenwa tuba yu entia shala kula mena wosab kuma na won par munyi waran jamo wal tonteni so we will do all that for you but in the next coming of ndc our priority is jobs jobs and jobs Anga mena to chinla na ranji tewa atode tunga gungopo waranja wolo ton teni ama wolo man chinla wodi alipodi chin kwan kwan kale twima 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 and so we know the potential of Bulsa South when it comes to food production and so we're going to help the farmers by setting up a, a farmer service center. We're going to bring tractors. We're going to bring combined harvesters. We're going to bring plows, planters, fertilizer, weedicide, everything the farmers need. Farmer Service Center. Kulang Kuchinka Center Kui. Ate Kunguta Tractaba. Ata Combine. Ata Fertilizer. Ata Namba Mena. Ate Parma. Ayala. Tabu Kuyenikade. And we are going to establish rice processing factory here in Bursa South. So that when our farmers farm the rice, we will give them a minimum, oh please, we'll give them a minimum guaranteed price so that they don't lose. Because when the middlemen come to buy, you don't need to put that one on, it's loud enough. When the middlemen come to buy, they buy at a low price. But we'll give a minimum guaranteed price so that the farmers don't lose. So when they get all these services from the service center, they will go and sell their rice and then they go back and pay the cost of the inputs. But the rice milling plant will buy the rice and it will process it for the farmers. If you can market it yourself, you go and market it. I don't know what name we'll call it. Maybe we'll call it Fumbisi Special Rice. Every Fumbisi rice farmer will go and mail his rice, we'll put it in the same bag from BC a pack special rice. <laughs> and then you know what we'll do? Government will buy all that rice and we'll give the rice to our secondary schools to feed our children. We'll give the rice to our hospitals to feed our patients. We'll give the rice to our prisons to feed our prisoners so that our, our farmers can get a market ang waranjamo won won laka factory pion at kwa firi muma da ngambati de womba se alege ban ponde en lala je pion part be dat aranya ko fi seba ah yes te ta factory at e bala kwa mwenga la baran kwa bata je loji ni te ba ga firi at ba da ngom singana nal nyini Tengapo na saches apo adabang marse na zuk fumbisi aromatic special rice ya sidi fumbisi apak aromatic special rice ate mwenga te bamba firi la baran firi government wa alida aya pa mwenga la a charite to school ma ate bisinga da ngade ala kwa kwamula Banyang and Dita, Adiachak, Nanar Satoa. Ezu, 
We're also introducing the 24-hour economic policy so that businesses can work longer hours and employ more of our young people. And we, while you know, while I you at a bamba, marabumba, paloco, at a back, at a gurum, a jam. And to have the 24 hour economic policy, we need safety and security. It means that we need more police officers, we need more prison officers, we need more fire officers, immigration, customs. We estimate that we have to recruit at least 25,000 police officers. And we want to give all of you the opportunity. So we're not going to hide in secret and write names. We will come region by region so that all of you can get an opportunity if you want to work for the security services.